Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making a coconut palm tree. So instead of working on the cookie itself first, I want to concentrate on making the coconuts. And to do this, I'm using a piping consistency chocolate colored royal icing here, and this is fitted with a number three tip. And I'm making dots about the size, but maybe about a half an inch in size. And I'm piping them onto a parchment lined cookie sheet. And I'm making sure to leave just a little bit of space between them, just so they don't touch. And they don't have to be all the exact same size. In fact, it's nice to have some that are a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller, just to kind of make it interesting. Now, while these dots are still wet, I'm just going to give the tray a little bit of a tap just to round them out a little bit nicer. And I'm also going to give them a really generous sprinkling of sugar. And this is just regular white granulated sugar, nothing special. And what the royal icing is doing is it's going to soak up the sugar and it's going to crust up nicely and it's going to give it lots of texture. And you'll definitely want to give these adamant time to dry. I would say at least six to eight hours. I'll let mine dry definitely overnight. So for the cookie itself, I'm starting out with a palm tree shaped sugar cookie here. And I'm using the same chocolate brown that I used for the coconuts. And I'm starting out with the trunk. So I'm using the piping consistency chocolate brown, and this time I've got it fitted with a number two tip. And I've sectioned off the trunk into five different sections. And again, using the same color, I'm going to use a flooding consistency this time in a squeeze bottle and I'm going to fill in every other section and I'm going to use my scribe tool to get all that icing towards the edges and pop any air bubbles. So I've let these sections dry for about 15 minutes before moving on and filling in the last two sections. And the reason why I do it like this, kind of alternating sections, instead of just kind of filling them in all at once, um, is to kind of just keep them separate. Um, if you fill them in all at once, it'll just become kind of one big blob. And if you want them to stay nice and separate as, you know, five different sections, um, you'll want to do it like this. And again, I've let that trunk crust over a little bit. And you can see here, I pulled the coconuts from the parchment and they've been sitting there for about six to eight hours and they've crusted over very nicely with that sugar over top. And now I'm going to do the greenery of the tree. And I'm using a very, very stiff consistency green royal icing here fitted with a 350 tip. So that is a leaf tip. So you can see that I'm using the point of the tip. It's almost dragging along the cookie. So the point is down. And I started at the top of the trunk and I'm going outwards to the outside of the cookie. And I'm going to be doing six leaves. And as you apply pressure and pull, you can kind of just give it a little bit of a wiggle and it will give you a nice roughly leaf. And again, you definitely want to make sure that consistency is nice and stiff so that it holds that nice roughly shape. And then while those leaves are still wet, you can choose a few of those little coconuts that you made and then just set them into the icing. And there we go, we've got the finished coconut palm tree and you can see the leaves and the coconuts here up close. And these cookies will be perfect for any sort of tropical or vacation themed party. And you can see some other videos like this in my video library, such as these lovely pineapples and watermelons. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye.